Yo, how's it going, my amigos and amigas? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope everyone's healthy, good, happy with their life because, you know, I'm not doing too bad myself. I'm happy to be alive for once. <laughs> so I found what I consider to be one of the worst chefs I've ever seen in my life. And this is someone whose cooking skills, I'm pretty mid when it comes to cooking, but I'm not making these cooking tutorials when I don't know anything about it. It's as if I started a channel dedicated to being a mechanic and I don't know how to fix the fucking car or I don't know how to change a wheel. Will I have credibility? Absolutely not. And to add insult to injury, he's making Mexican food. You guys know me, you know that I'm Latino, sadly. And I wish I was white, but regardless, I'm Latino and he's making enchiladas, which I've had. My mom makes them and they're legendary. And he makes the nastiest food I've ever seen. A blind person who's never made food before could cook better than this YouTube channel, Rich Luck. I don't hate him. I'm just here to criticize one Latino to another. Please don't ever cook again. <laughs> Let's just get into the worst chef of all time. What's up, guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cook gourmet chicken luxurious enchiladas oh look how green that is yes then you're gonna get them nice and peeled <laughs> girl i gotta peel the garlic or the onion I, don't, I can't tell the difference between them girl but you guys know me i'm pretty retarded and even i could tell an onion from a garlic like is this guy normal I don't know, maybe he's just too rich for us. I mean, his name is Rich Lux. Is my name Rich Society? No. Something that I notice is he's not taking his gloves off. Would be a pretty good idea if you did. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I am so confused on what's going on. Is this fucking Disney music in the background? The dry stuff? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's like a head full of dandruff. Take the gloves off. I just can't deal with this. I just can't. It's pissing me off. I just want to reach into the screen, take the crown off, and take those fucking gloves off. It's pissing me off. Bon appetit, baby. Okay, then you got to get the avocado and put it on the plate. And sometimes the gloves are Finally. off, Finally. God so damn. That, I like to just go ahead and just get it just what? like this, girl. And just put the? it on the plate. Just like that, the house. Make sure you get all of it in there. There you go. That and you grab it and you just go ahead and put it like that. That is fucking disgusting. Imagine you're at your friend's house and you guys are having some Kool-Aid and then someone says, yo, let me make some avocado. And you're like, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. And you see this. You could have just grabbed a fork, you could have grabbed a spoon, but <laughs> <laughs> just the fucking way he did it. And we don't even know if his hands are clean because he had the gloves on the whole time. So we don't know if he's washed them. Maybe he was wiping when he went to the bathroom and then he even clean his hands and now you got shit in that avocado. You know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm gonna make my sauce and I'm gonna chop up my vegetables to do that. Okay, before we get to this part where he makes the sauce, I know what sauce looks like and I'm not here to gatekeep salsa or salsas or sauces or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. I know how it's made. I've made some in my past. Really good, by the way. And what I saw when this man was preparing this quote-unquote salsa blew my mind in the worst way possible. This salsa that he's about to make legitimately looks like it could give you diarrhea, explosive diarrhea in 10 seconds. 10 seconds after you put it into your mouth, you're going to be shedding for weeks. All right, and then we're going to start making our sauce. And we're going to put it in the pot here. And I like to just break this apart. Oh my God, I'm getting... No way. All right, and you just need like a little bit of cilantro and you just put it all in there. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna get the chicken out of the oven or stove, I don't know what, what it is. <laughs> and then this is my chunky chunky salsa verde sauce right here. This looks like something straight out of Shrek. This looks like food from 1700. Am I eating enchiladas or am I eating fucking giant green and red peppers here? This does not look good. Horrifying. This is not how you make it. I said that I wasn't going to gatekeep sauce. I am going to gatekeep it because there's only there's only a few ways you can do it and this looks like shit. And I could just see that this is going to give me explosive diarrhea for a week easily, easily. And I feel so bad for the people who are about to eat this because I don't even think a kid in Africa who hasn't ate in a week, I don't even think he'll eat this. I know that I would. Wouldn't. I'd rather starve to death than to ever eat this. Mm. So I'm gonna show you how to make my world famous chicken enchilada. Cause you're gonna want a lot of all these chicaladas. I wanna say this. What you're about to see is some of the saddest food of all time. So you're gonna get your corn tortillas. Those are not real tortillas, but okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those are so fucking mid. And you're gonna get your chunky chonky sauce, your chunky chonky salsa verde sauce, just like that. And you're gonna put some on there. Oh so I'm gonna show you how to make a few of them. And then you, you can make it at home too. People okay. are gonna be shook. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's like 24 karat gold flakes in there that are like, they're like melted or something on there. Then you're gonna get some of your chicken and your onions and you're just gonna put that on there, just like that. Then, it's all about presentation and plating. So, I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so so far it looks it looks pretty good so far. That looks disgusting. That legitimately looks like a dog ate something and then puked it out, and then this is what you get on the floor that you have to pick up. I do not know anyone who's willing to eat that. I would eat that for like a thousand dollars. If there was a party and they invited me, they're like, yo, sensitive, you're the best, you're the goat, I love you. And I'd be like, yes, yes, I know I'm amazing. And then they're like, yo, I made this for you. I'd be like, you know what? I can't eat that. Oh no, why? Por que sensitive? What's wrong? Aren't you Latino? I mean, you can't handle the heat, right? I'd be like, well, I only have a week to live. And they told me I could not eat anything spicy so i'm sorry i'm gonna have to pass it looks amazing but i can't eat that right now <laughs> I, will, I will fake having aids cancer anything to get away from eating this so again this was the chicken enchiladas gourmet style with our chunky chunky salsa verde our chicken our tortilla with sprinkled cheese and our garnishes on a versace plate we get it, you have money. Only to flex it on poor people. Yeah, I mean, I'm just on this uh, Versace plate. You broke as it, bitches. All right, so here's the finished product. And these are my assistants. Now, I'm not gonna fire y'all. <laughs> to be honest, what do you think? So you can- This looks worse than it did before. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm excited wait. to see the oh reaction. Oh no way, okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> These people got diarrhea for a month <laughs> straight. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you use garlic in this? Yeah. Very much garlic. I can Among tell. How much garlic? There's a lot of garlic. Okay. <laughs> it sucks that these are his assistants because if there was any real person, they would have been like, yo, this is fucking shit. Kill yourself or something. I don't know. Definitely spicy. Uh, I think it could use like some more like flavor, like that's not garlic. <laughs> kind of crunchy too. Ah, chunky, crunchy, cold. This looks so sad. My God, how could anyone serve this to their assist? Is it, is it that bad or is it? Yes. Um, um, I wouldn't order it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't pay money for this. I wouldn't pay money for it. I might not finish it, but. Okay. <laughs> no, that means it's fucking horrible. If they say I will not order it and I will not pay for it, you should consider your cooking skills. No, I will not order that or eat that disgusting fucking shit. But you're my friend and you pay me, so uh, it's it's passable, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, yeah. guys. Bye. <laughs> Why does he sound like he's holding back tears at the end? Look at that shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks, yeah. guys. Bye. <laughs> They're holding back tears. He's like, okay, guys, bye. Thank you. Rich Lux needs his own show on the Food Network. No, he does not. He'll kill every host and everyone. That looked disgusting. And if he was my chef, I would kill myself.